Salut pup! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a natural hair transformation where I'll be going from this to that. So if you're into that, stay tuned. Can you believe that it's almost been two years since my big top and look at my hair now. It's so different. I'll tell you all about it, the products that I've used, what I've been doing, how my hair journey has been so far. gone for a while so let's hang out while I do my hair it's been two years since my big chop slash baby chop video and wow a lot has changed like I am so happy with my hair relaxer who relaxer where relaxer can't even compete with this honestly best decision by far in terms of how my hair has been growing that fast first things first genetics I'm not gonna lie my hair just grows I guess out of faster rate but that doesn't really mean anything unless you know how to retain that length a lot of people can grow hair fast if you don't know how to care for your hair or retain it there's honestly not that much of an advantage if i can put it like that i have 4c hair yes 4c not 4b not 4a if you follow me on Instagram or on TikTok, you'll just see that people have been having so much fun when it comes to hair typing, which is a whole other thing. Honestly, maybe we could talk about that in a separate video, but I have 4C hair. 4C hair can grow, 4C hair can be long, 4C hair can be healthy. Um, I would describe my hair as being low porosity. I'll put a clip right here. She takes about 10 years to get wet that's my hair and i have high density hair that's one thing that really pisses me off like there's just hair everywhere and not to say that i'm not grateful but oh my gosh when it comes to styling or blow drying my hair like it's a whole arm workout because my arm just hurts all the time from so yeah i cut my hair on january 28th 2021 almost two years i don't think i've spoken about it in my last video but one thing that really helped me throughout my hair journey was protective styling i'm a lazy natural i've always been a lazy person when it comes to my hair i don't like to sell my hair too often i don't like to touch it like i don't even know how to braid or flat twist like it's a sad sight therefore i resort to protective hairstyles wigs on wigs on wigs on wigs i think i did some twists at some point but all i was wearing was wigs and i kid you not that worked wonders for me just let my hair be my hair was growing and when it got to a length that i was finally able to deal with or manage better or style better that's when i started working more with my hair like the first products i've ever used were the pantene pro v gold series i call it the pantene for black people but that's the line i used that it was really good i didn't really want to spend too much money yet i didn't really know how to care for my hair so i went to walmart i picked up i'm like yeah yeah black people love it not too expensive Boom, took it and it's been working wonders for my hair i eventually switched up to my l played around with moroccan oil a lot of different brands but uh shea moisture obviously as well but uh that's really how i got started let's get to unboxing i'm so sorry y'all i pronounced that wrong it's actually timo hair straightening comb. i got it in the color pink because you know me i just love pink but this is what it looks like and when you open it these are all the goodies that you get inside i feel so close right now but whatever you guys are gang i wanted to give you guys a closer look as to what comes in the box so first off you have this cute detangling brush you also get two clips to section your hair protective gloves so you don't burn your fingers off you get a traveling pouch for your iron and last but not least you have the star of the show she is so so gorgeous look at that Ooh. i'm excited now i just want to give you guys a closer look at this ironing brush i love the design i think it's very beautiful and it turns out that the design actually allows even heat distribution, preventing your hair from unnecessary overheat damage, which I love because anybody got time for heat damage over here. And because it's so small, it's very, very easy to use and carry around. Okay, so I just turned it on right now. Um, I will put it uh, the highest heat just for one pass. I just got a silk press. I'm not trying to get my hair like silky, silky straight. I'll probably go more for like that kinky texture look. While I section my hair, let's talk about what this iron is supposed to do so i think i'll be using this part which part do i want yeah this part right here so we can see the result better 
but because it acts as a straightening brush and comb at the same time you're supposed to be able to save 50% of your straightening time which I believe because I love blow drying my hair you guys know how I feel about that so anything that's with the comb or brush attachment I do believe that you save a lot of time so to see these little rings here they actually protect the iron itself so when you get closer to your scalp you don't burn yourself that is so clever and so smart because honestly I used to be so scared of that hot comb growing up I hate it hate it hate it until this day like I am so scared of getting burnt so this is very very practical so I'll start with this small section right here I think it should be more than enough I think we'll get closer so you guys can take a better look let's do the first pass I'm excited nervous I can feel the heat so let's see how good this is I'm scared let's do this oh my god oh my god oh my god I feel it going <laughs> y'all this is hold up this is good this did a very, look at that. Hold on, let me come closer. Do you guys see this? For one pass, like the hair is shiny. Oosh. Mm -mm. The hair is shiny, the hair is smooth. Honestly, if you're scared of burning yourself and you've never liked to flat iron your hair, I think this is very much the way to go. She got inches. This is nice. <laughs> I'm really happy with the results because this brush is 4C hair friendly. You know, some brushes or some tools out there, they don't really cater to people with kinkier hair types. And if I was able to do this in one pack and I got 4C hair, that's pretty impressive. So I'm just going to go straight in this half of my hair and come back to show you guys the comparison between both sides. Like I said, I'm not going for that silky straight look. So I'll be putting the heat on the second level and if it's not hot enough, I'll be putting it on the third. Bye. Look at the difference, you guys. I love it. This is what I want. Like I said, I did not want silky straight and this was so fast. I kid you not. It took me about Not even 10 minutes to do half of my hair this This is definitely the way I'll be straightening my hair moving forward unless I want like a silky silky straight I'll be using a flat iron the only thing that I will say is that the iron kind of I don't know if you guys can see There's a bit of smoke coming out. So that kind of scared me. I'm like, oh, is it too hot? But honestly, I think it's just the heat coming out of the iron and it's nothing to worry about so i'm gonna do the half of my hair while i keep talking to you guys i don't know what i was saying before but if i could sum it up my hair journey has been protective hairstyle knowing what works for me i wouldn't say a lot of trial and error because i kid you not i would just look up other people that had type 4 hair, hair that kind of looked like mine and see what worked for them and gave it a go most of the things that I tried actually did work for me like I said, my favorite line is the Mayel pomegranate and honey and that worked really 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 well for my hair so my advice to anyone would just be to get to know your hair take your time and be patient when I first started to wash my hair I thought that I really sucked because I didn't really know how to do it but one thing I would do that would help me is just to wash my hair without gloves now I do just cuz I don't know I prefer it that way that was able to allow me to get ooh, a better feel on is my hair like the product do I think that my hair has enough slip is my hair dry all of those things all of those things helped when I was able to wash my hair. I do think that it takes a lot of patience. I don't think it's something you can rush through. And like I said, I had no expectations when it came to my hair. I just knew, hey, this is my hair. Let me see what makes my hair happy, what my hair doesn't like. And from there, I think I could grow on to have very, very healthy hair. I went to get my silk press done and my hairstylist told me that my hair was very healthy, that I did a really good job. Except for my ends, which made sense because I never had a trip ever since I went natural and for that if you're interested to see you can go on my Instagram or on my TikTok I posted my silk press review that was really fun I don't know why I did more than one pass I'm getting distracted I think I'll just finish it and come back my hair was pretty healthy if you want to see that I will upload it on YouTube shorts so stay tuned be patient with your hair stop stressing yourself out I don't want to say it's just hair because hair is important but at the end of the day it kind of is just hair right Look at the final results. My hair is so shiny and beautiful. It's giving extensions. Mm -hmm. 
if you want your ends to be like silky straight I don't think it's going to get the job done on the third setting but this is what I wanted and this is so so beautiful honestly I lost my train of thought and this wasn't a very like planned out video I just wanted to talk about my hair give you guys an update on the two year mark what I've been doing to get my hair to be like this or how I've been maintaining my hair while also giving you guys a review of straighten brush which I think is perfect therefore I think I'll stop here for today so thank you for watching if you're still here I love you so much I appreciate you guys so 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 much but so you don't feel like you're missing out too much feel free to follow me on my other platforms you can follow me on my Instagram and you can follow me on my TikTok that's where the fun is at if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do that if you're still here might as well subscribe and be part of the gang put your bell notification on so you know when I post a video and that being said thank you very much for watching and see See you next time.